sharing with you the Axon. That's right, the Axon Mobile Home. I'm out here at Factory Select Manufactured Homes in Lugolf, South Carolina, and I can't wait to show it to you. So let's get into the video. All right, y'all, before we get into the video, I just wanted to take time to walk around the house so you can see the uh, exterior of the home. This is a beautiful manufactured home. I love the blue color. I think the shutters go well with it. There's lots of uh, windows and doors in this house bringing in a lot of natural light. But I'm not gonna do a lot of talking. Let's take our time and look around the exterior and then you guys can tell me what you think down in the description box. One thing I can imagine with the exterior of this home is how big of a deck. As you can see, the home has that huge slider. And I think a very large deck would be perfect attached to this house. I would put a single step at the side door and a large deck, at least a 12 by 20 on the back of the house. What do you guys think? I also think a covered porch would be beautiful on this home, a covered front porch. Uh, it doesn't have to be as big as the back of the house, but I do feel that a covered porch would make the house pop. Alright, so as we enter the home, pay attention to this foyer area. Um, I love an isolated foyer. You guys know that. But this one just really did it for me because you can decorate that area and guests don't have to see the rest of the house uh, until you let them in. I also love the fact that the area has a coat closet and you have room for storage in this closet as well. That's always a nice feature. Now as we get into the living room, this is a large space, you guys. I really like the openness of it. I like the fact that it has a feature wall. I like the fact that um, it's so big and spacious in this room. It has a, a ceiling fan in it as well. One thing I didn't care for with the feature wall is that it limits the size of the TV because of the... Um, actual space that they created for a TV. Now, mind you, you could probably put a 65 or so inch TV, maybe a 75 inch TV in that area. But if that cutout wasn't there, you could actually go larger. So other than that, I really like the size of the living room. I love the brickwork in there. I think they did an excellent job. One thing I like about this open area, the living room, dining room, and kitchen are open to each other, but the way they're positioned, you do have a little privacy in the dining room. You have this drink station here. I'll give you the opportunity to look around in there at the lower and upper cabinets. 
but I really love the dining room. I love the slider um, that can walk out to your back deck as well as how much space you have in the dining room. These drawers are soft clothes, which is always a nice feature. And one thing I appreciate about the lower cabinets is that you have the second shelving in there as well. You also have uh, space above the cabinets for decor and appliance items. So that is a plus. I know there are some interested in these homes that want cabinets that go all the way to the ceiling. But personally, I like the space to decorate above the, the ceiling. I actually love the dark cabinets in this space. They go well with the countertops. And I love the fact that there's so much cabinet space. So you have room for storage throughout the kitchen. I absolutely love the high gloss that they have on this black industrial sink. I think it works well with the ceramic top stove. Now the stainless steel ceramic top has five burners. It also comes with a stainless steel industrial hutch. I think they work well together, but keep in mind that if black appliances or even stainless steel appliances are not what you're looking for, you can always customize this home to include cabinets, countertops, appliances, and flooring. Did you notice that this home features can lighting throughout? I think that's a nice plus for this house. I already appreciate the open area. The open concept is so spacious. It has a lot of natural light coming in that I wanted to give you a view of what it would look like if you entered that area from the additional bedroom. So I'm gonna give you the opportunity to look around one more time before we go take a look at the bedroom. All right, so this first room to the left is gonna be our additional bedroom. Now you got double sinks in here, as well as the ceramic uh, tub and shower combo. I love the space that they give you for your personal hygiene products. You don't find that in a lot of the homes that we tour. I also love the fact that this bathroom has a nice big window that opens, which is awesome for ventilation. And the third thing that I like about this bathroom, if you look right here behind the door, it has a linen closet. So you have space for uh, your additional uh, personal hygiene products, toiletries, paper products, anything you need to store in the bathroom, even sheets and towels. So that's always a nice plus in a secondary bathroom. Y'all get ready. This utility room is super nice. They created a mud room in this space. 
So you have hooks to hang your jackets and raincoats. You have space under the bottom for shoes. You have a bench to sit on while you're getting dressed or undressed before you leave out of the back door. Absolutely love this utility room. Large area, uh, space for a nice size washer and dryer. Just a great utility room. You even have outlets in here if you want to put a deep freezer and the door to the utility room actually closes. So if you have, if you're entertaining, you can always close that area off. Next we have the additional bedrooms. Now these additional bedrooms are similar in size. I'm not going to do a whole lot of talking in this area. I'll let you look around, check the closets out and see this area for yourself. Now it's on to the master bedroom or the primary bedroom. I love the size of this bedroom. I think it's perfect for a king size bed. You also have space in here if you want to create a sitting room. But this is a nice size bedroom, you guys. And I can just imagine seeing furniture in this room. I also like the master bathroom. I love the double doors. The only thing I would change though is I would make them glass doors, you know, the French door situation. That's probably what I would do to open up the bedroom into the master bath. Love the deep tub. You have a window that opens. You also have a toilet uh, closet in this bathroom and double sinks. The shower is absolutely ridiculous. It's huge. I love the tile in here. I love the glass door and I love the double shower here. So really nice job with the master bathroom. The closet is inside the master bath, but it does have a door that closes and you have lots of space in that room as well. So while you look around the master uh, closet, I'll give you the opportunity to tell me in the comment section what you like about the master. Alright, so again, you guys, this home is the accent. It's out here at Select Home, Select Factory Homes in Lugol, South Carolina. This is a champion home, okay? The base price of this home is $132,826. So if you're interested in the home, all the information I have for this home will be down in the description box below. See you in the next video.